Once it's in his half, he'll go. That's innovative. Created that room for himself there, Mohammad Shahzad. That's poor bowling again. This time short. Just providing him with so much length that he could get underneath it and hit it over point. Gets himself a boundary. But Chisoro just needs to be brave. Just needs to be a little slower. Once he darts it in, Shazad has all the options. He opens up the leg side and the off. Well played. That's where he's really good. It's all about creating that uh, space for himself, creating that uh, angle for himself as a batsman. Too good from Shazad just moving away from the line of the ball. It's a quick delivery this time, no slow one. And with third man up in the circle, it's all goes going to the fence. That's a great shot. Good match awareness as well, Shazad. No wonder he's got 1,000 runs in T20s. He knows exactly where the gaps are. Beyond it as well. Oh, well played. Well played. Shazad, great improvisation. Read the slow ball well. And he was into position quickly. He's looking good. He's looking good once again. Absolutely right. That's a fantastic shot. Nobody back on the fine leg boundary. Slow ball from Chibaba rolling the wrist over it. And he's maneuvered himself into a position where he can easily flick that over the man at 45 and help himself to four runs that's a good shot and a shot of a man in form Shazad has been good today he's been going after the Zimbabwean bowling but Gahani needs to support and we're getting a good look of Sharjah and goes over the top oh, just over the top in fact he'll get a boundary really didn't time it but a useful over for Afghanistan 43 without loss and that would have been one factor why he just couldn't get under the ball quite quickly. Yeah, he probably wouldn't have seen him in his vision until he got close to him there. But you could see just a little bit of hesitation, I think, as he got closer to the ball. Good effort nonetheless. Goes again. That's one more. One bounce for four. Shazad is 50. He's done everything. For Afghanistan, 59 for one, he's made 50. And mind you, of just 30 balls, he's enjoying himself. That's another brilliant knock from the man in picture, Mohammed Zaid. 50, he moves on to you from just 30 deliveries. You were just talking about Usman Ghani being a little bit off today. And that's the reason why the total is 59. 50 of those credited to Mohammed Shazad. And yet another brilliant innings from this man. It's been a lone fight at the top of the order for Afghanistan throughout the one-day internationals. And now the teacher tell you what, there's going to be plenty more to come in this career. There he goes again. A little pocket rocket. Hits. That's gone out of the ground. That's the 37th six in his T20 career. Suddenly, Afghanistan maintaining a good 14 runs of the over. 76 interesting decision by the umpire. This is high. Where has it gone? Just over the line for six. Important, important runs for Zimbabwe. But I'm, I'm quite surprised about that warning team because didn't see Zadran be warned or warned at all when he bowled those two full tosses. In fact, I've been told he was warned once, but Raza just lobbing the ball short and he went for height really more than distance and got it just over the line and again one more that's another six it's raining sixes here Shazad is on fire this man is in overdrive Sikander Raza round the wicket into his arc and he has come down the wicket and muscled that long over the boundary another six Afghanistan 92 for one now a ball to go in the 10th over and sensible cricket they'll take a single 10 gone 93 for one 93 for one it's time for the mopping break
There he goes. He had that open stance ready for that one. He smacked it out. He's costing us a lot. That's a lot of balls out of the park. Brings up the 100 in style. And that's cleared everything. Posing for that as well, but cars outside in danger. Shazad almost batting Zimbabwe out of this game. Fantastic hitting. Cleared the crowd, cleared the fans, cleared the stands. It was just brilliant hitting from Shazad. In for a lot more. This time it's flatter. It's going to be four. I don't know why this guy doesn't play any form of franchise cricket for any side. Shazad is smacking everything. Creamer this time. Cream through the leg side. One bounce into the fence. Again, fantastic hitting. Loss for ideas now. Lost a few balls here at the Sharjah Cricket Stadium. Have a look. Big is an understatement. Massive hits. That mid wicket region, he can hit them with his eyes closed. Fantastic hitting. Into the crowd, into the stands, and out of the ground. Yeah, that's some serious power hitting here from Shazad. I wonder why he doesn't play any. Lower bouncer gets it over the keeper. That should be four more. Zimbabwe leaking runs here. 12 ball, 123 for two. Look at that, 84, just 46. Shazad. 123 for two in the way. Reem Sadik has faced a couple of deliveries. It just seems that they want to get after the Zimbabwe bowlers. They want a big score. They're already looking to get something really big. 205, they keep going like this. Chibaba has been brought in. Slower bouncer just tapped away on the leg side and has gone for the fence. Just can't seem to stop the boundary Zimbabwe. In danger of being batted out of this T20. In the first 15 only. Baba brought back into the attack medium pace and he's got his work cut out Shazad loves that medium pace and again mid wicket will be the region full toss and goodbye he haven't learned anything yet you can't bowl full tosses to him mid wicket it is Man on the fence, doesn't matter. Shazad in such great hitting form. A bit worried there, but he struck it hard. Flat six. If you bought a mid-wicket ticket from our end, you're definitely to be on camera all the time when Shazad's batting. He's oh. forcing the batsman to change. And they ending up bowling full tosses a short. Let's go back a couple of deliveries. Just the connection is so good. Big again and out again. It has hit somewhere, but it's defense very easily. Again, Shazad wasn't happy with the go big. 99 for him. Short ball, no. Soft hands. 100 for him. 107 fastest in T20. And the second batsman from an associate nation to get that after Richie Bennington. What a knock played by Shazad here. 52 balls for 100. He's single handedly almost taken the game away from the reach of Zimbabwe the way he's going. A fantastic knock. It's been brilliance all the way. Power hitting, clean hitting. Just been a different story when Shazad 
was on strike. One of the few shots he did not hit out of the ground. Eight sixes, boundaries. Been an absolute carnage from Shazad. Also becomes the first batsman in Darja, in the UAE rather, to score a hundred T20 international hundred. That's big and should be out. Yes, so that's the wicket. Finally, something to celebrate for. Oh, he's cleared the fielder. Now the race to the fence. He's on. A he's torn the bowling apart today, Mohammad Shazad. It's a sensational batting from Mohammad Shazad. He's given himself just a little bit of room and he's muscled that over extra cover. Nobody back on the boundary. And that's another boundary for Mohammad Shazad. Beautifully played. Eludes the man. Well played. You can add four more to that. 14 of the over. 181 to four.